This is Vijual Kumar Sen and uh, in this video tutorial I am going to share with you derivation of auto cycle. Okay, so let's get started then. So basically you know auto cycle why its name is auto cycle because of the person behind this cycle. Okay, the name of the person is Nicholas August Otto. People, uh, few people also said Nicholas E. Otto, few people said Nicholas Otto. So, the full uh, name of this person is Nicholas August Otto. This person find out this auto cycle completely, although the invention of this, this type of cycle already has been started, but this person, you know, completely uh, given us the cycle process and uh, we are using this process even now it is its concept we are using right so basically uh, what is about this cycle but yeah the most important thing here in this tutorial I'm going to share with you derivation of auto cycle that means how you can able to find out efficiency of auto cycle okay mm -hmm. including PV diagram and TS diagram so first of all if you wanted to learn derivation of any cycle then learn to draw diagram of that cycle let's go for PV diagram P for pressure V for volume so in this diagram here we'll get all 1 2 3 4 from 1 to 2 is known as isentropic isentropic compression right and this 3 to 4 is known as isentropic expansion well and at 2 to 3 they are adding heat suppose that q1 and here uh, they are rejecting heat i mean the cycle is rejecting heat okay so <clears throat> 2 to 3 is a constant volume process and uh, 4 to 1 is also a constant volume process right if you'll go for if you'll draw a ts diagram of this uh, cycle then this would be like this okay this is also a simple diagram if you practice a uh, little little bit then definitely you can draw this diagram so t for temperature as for entropy so this is a ts diagram okay this is 1 2 3 4 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 and 4 to 1 okay and uh, 2 to 3 is constant volume process 4 to 1 is constant volume process right so these are two diagrams basically these diagrams are important too and uh, yeah so our main motto is to find out efficiency of this cycle that is our main motto so uh, let's preview a little bit about it 1 to 2 what is going on in 1 to 2 process basically what is going on there 1 to 2 process of course there, there is isentropic compression is going on isentropic compression going on right and uh, therefore r is equal to v1 by v2 it's a volume ratio right now if you we'll go for the next process 2 to 3 this is a constant volume process first constant volume process and second yeah second what is heat is supplying heat is supplying in this during this process right now let's go for the next one that is 3 to 4 process what is going on 3 to 4 process there is isentropic isentropic expansion is going on right and then last one is 4 to 1 4 to 1 yeah in case of isentropy expression expansion if you will say volume ratio is equal to v4 by v3 v4 by v3 volume ratio is v4 by v3 now for 4 to 1 4 to 1 process again it's constant volume process right so in case of constant volume press process in this 4 to 1 what is happening there basically heat is rejecting so in this process what is happening heat is rejecting rejected you can say okay so these are all four processes 
uh, and I mean uh, with these four processes this uh, auto cycle is accessed right and auto cycle other name of the of the auto cycle is constant constant volume cycle the other name of the cycle is constant volume cycle so if you will get question in the examination probably they can also uh, tell you just uh, derive the equation for constant volume cycle or drive the efficient drive the uh, equation drive the relation for constant volume cycle for finding out efficiency this type of question also you can get instead of auto cycle because these two cycle i mean these two name are uh, representing for auto cycle or constant volume cycle because in this cycle constant volume process is there okay and of course you can say are there because there are two constant volume processes going on in this cycle okay so <clears throat> let's go for the next part so what is happening basically if you're talking about heat supplied heat supplied heat is supplied two to three process right if it is supplying two to three process then you can say q1 is equal to cv t3 minus t2 now q1 is heat is supplied or supplied cv what is cv specific heat at constant volume specific heat at constant volume t3 is temperature at point Three and T2 is temperature at point 2. Now let's go for the heat rejected. Heat, where is heat is rejecting exactly? 4 to 1 process. Heat is rejecting there. Therefore we can say Q2 is equal to Cv. Now look at the diagram. What you can I mean what you can understand in this diagram that is T4 minus T1, right? So here we got these two terms and by using these two terms we can find out efficiency because we know that what is efficiency? Eta is equal to output by input. So what is input here? Heat supplied is the input output heat supplied minus, minus heat rejected. Heat supplied minus heat rejected let me make you understand this term why i have written this you know output is what work done okay now suppose that we have an engine okay we have an engine and we are giving q1 input and we are getting q2 output here right now what is basically work done what is basically work done difference between these two because we know that q1 is equal to work done plus q2 so q1 minus q2 is equal to work done and this is valid i mean if you uh, if you understand first law of thermodynamics we uh, have studied that energy neither be created nor be destroyed so definitely we if we are getting work done suppose that we are giving 100 kilojoule input heat input and rejecting is 80 kilojoule uh, sorry 60 kilojoule suppose that so work done is 40 kilojoule how we got this difference between these two heat supplied minus heat rejected that's why i have written here heat supplied minus heat rejected by heat supplied i hope you understand this right now heat what is it supplied here cv cv t3 minus t2 here cv t4 minus t1 again heat supplied cv t3 minus t2 right got it till now now uh, if you'll get common cv cv and cv all will cancel out so what remaining here t3 minus t2 minus t4 minus t1 by t3 minus t2 all right now what we can do we can just do uh, i mean we can divide uh, this term to this two terms so what will get 1 minus t4 minus t1 by t3 minus t2 so this is the efficiency of auto cycle right now if you are thinking about to find out efficiency of auto cycle in terms of pressure ratio probably you have seen you know in uh, in other books or maybe in examina examination that uh, auto cycle efficiency also can be find out in that way so how we can able to find out so 
for that you have to make relation of compression ratio r and you have to use relations right but uh, directly i can say that the efficiency of <coughs> that we can write like in that uh, ratio r gamma minus 1 uh, gamma uh, sorry 1 minus r to the power gamma minus 1 yeah it's like this okay so uh, this is the efficiency of auto cycle if you uh, if you wanted to get in terms of compression ratio but this is also the efficiency of auto cycle what i have derived here so this is how you can drive uh, equation for i mean efficiency for auto cycle or constant volume cycle i hope you understand this cycle for, i mean cycle uh, thanks for watching see you soon in my next video tutorial bye bye